What's going on everybody, it's Jay Coffee Talk, thanks for tuning in everyone, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, uh, get up in the conversation in the comments, but I wanted to talk about this, I just saw this article, and it's about this uh, soccer player, he plays for Inter Milan in Italy, and uh, once again, I might have the name wrong if you guys might have caught my video I did earlier about the UFC or uh, former UFC fighter who knocked dude out as a bouncer, working as a bouncer. I was like not sure if I pronounced his name correctly, so I'm sorry, you guys. I I'm bad with names sometimes, and I soccer. I'm not so up on soccer, you know what I mean. But um, his name is Romelo Lukaku. Lukaku, I don't know, but um, I wanted to talk about this article that came out where he was speaking about constant um, racial slurs and racist chants and things like that in the uh, Italian soccer league, or I guess over there is football. You know, um, we're the only ones like we say football when we're talking about our football, American football. If you've ever, you know, been around people from other countries, Europe and stuff like that, they're like, it, it throws them off. But, um, <clears throat> you know, this is something that I heard about before. If you guys remember the whole H&M thing where they had that uh, shirt or sw sweater or whatever it was, the coolest monkey in the jungle thing. I'm sure you guys remember that. And um, I believe they're from the U.K., h and M. I'm not sure, but I just remember Charlemagne the God speaking about that because someone on a podcast, someone was saying, well, hey, they're not American. So I don't think that, you know, they have that kind of problem over there with racism and things like that. And before I move along, I just want to say because I might get people in the comment section saying things along the lines of like, uh, you know, there there isn't racism in America or people like you making these kind of videos is why there's racism or things like that. Listen, I'm not trying to rile anybody up or anything like that. This is something that goes on in society, whether people want to, you know, um, acknowledge it or not. It's a fact. It happens. I'm not saying more of America is racist than not, or I'm not even getting into that. We're just, it's its something that happens, it's not right, and I'm gonna talk about it. And I'm not trying to rile anyone up. I, I seriously, as you guys know on my channel, the whole idea is to tap in with you guys in the comment section, because you guys are the people, you know what I mean? And I wanna hear everyone's take in my comment section is where we can talk debate and respectfully if necessary agree to disagree and that's fine you know what i mean i, I will debate and talk with anyone so <clears throat> that's what's up with this video but um he was talking about the guy said yo this well you know they're british i believe i think they're british but it definitely wasn't an american uh company and he said i don't think that goes down like that over there and that was something i always kind of thought too and um what he said uh charlemagne's response was he was talking about in italy and i was uh, surprised by this i had to actually go check it out he said in the soccer game to um you know heckle the black players that they throw bananas and banana peels on the field and i was like really wow i I don't know. I was disappointed by that. You know, I'm no saint or anything like that, but I generally want to see people come together. You know what I mean? That's that's how I rock. Um, that's the kind of dude I am. I think I think all this stuff is stupid. We're in 2019. It's going to be 2020 soon. We got to move past all this stuff. But anyways, um, I was shocked and I went, you know, and was checking into that. And I was like, wow, that really, really happens. And um that's what this guy was talking about this player here Romelu Lukaku if I'm saying his name right again I'm sorry about that you guys but he was just saying that it's a constant problem over there that there has been times you guys can go read the article I'll actually pin the article if you guys want to go check it out I'll pin it in the comments uh, you know that this happens all the time and um they 
they're actually the whole crowd will break out in racial racist um chants and things like that and he complained a lot about it and he just feels like nothing will get done that no one cares and he said there was even a point in time where there was uh, the crowd in a game not him another player that there was a big racist chant going on and the player was complaining about it and the ref gave the player a yellow card which is a penalty or foul or whatever you want to call it but um he just in a game was kicking a penalty kick which ended up being the winning goal in the game and while he was kicking it they were breaking out with racial racist um chance and he ended up scoring the goal and they won but um <clears throat> when he was complaining about it this one team as i said i'm not really up on all these teams the team he plays for is called inter milan but um i believe it was you know his team was a vi visitor at it at the arena and the other team uh, fan club because as you know over there soccer is huge um fans go at it almost like gangs i don't know if you've ever seen um that movie green street hooligans or whatever um <clears throat> but anyways this is italy i'm not sure if that is just a british thing where the fans are like that you guys can fill me in in the comments but he uh did in the article it was brought up about uh brit um the uk or i always forget that the uk is more than just england but um in england and in france they have a big problem with this as well and he was saying that anyways the fan club of the team was saying hey they reached out via their facebook page said listen when we do those chants we're not doing them to be racist we're doing it to try to distract players to help our team win and i was like i don't know man that's uh <laughs> that's kind of crazy right like that wouldn't nowadays I'm not saying that wouldn't happen in America, that someone wouldn't say some crazy stuff like that at a game, but um, it, I, I don't know, like if it was to where the whole crowd, that just wouldn't happen. And if it did, it would, there would be a stop put to it. And that's what he's saying is that he feels like no one cares and it's not going to stop. And that's, that's, it's, uh, that's sad. And, you know, um, I don't really have that much more to cover in this video. I just kind of wanted to tap in and talk with you guys about this. And I know a lot of times on videos, I get um, people who comment who are from Europe. So I hope to hear from some of you guys in the comments as well. <clears throat> but I also wanted to say that I didn't know that uh, racism, you know, towards blacks really went out on the like outside of America like that. Um, I guess I don't want to sound stupid or ignorant. I just am not really that up on other parts of the world like that, you know, but I, I um, every summer I used to work with a lot of people that came from overseas on uh, J1 work visas and they came from like the Ukraine, Bulgaria, Macedonia, a lot of crush, um, you, uh, countries near russia or like that used to be a part of russia when like the whole ussr thing and everything and i don't want to say that they were racist but they were like terrified of black people um just shook and america in general you know they just have they were just very scared that they were gonna get shot or mugged or like seriously and i mean i don't mean just I seen it with one person. I seen it with like all of them. They were very, very scared of the United States and black people. And I was like, whoa, like calm down, you guys. Uh, do you watch too much um, uh, crazy movies or is someone telling you this guy's this guy's this kind of stuff? And you know, they didn't really elaborate on it, but it was just kind of crazy to me, man. Like I, I didn't expect that, but um, I don't know guys. Um, what do you guys think about this? And were you aware of? this kind of stuff going on in other countries just something that you know i saw this article and just wanted to as i said tap in see what the people got to say about this and um hopefully you know something gets done about this because this guy just didn't seem very confident in it and he said you know in the past the league has kind of tiptoed around it 
maybe said, oh, we'll try to stop it or whatever. But just, you know, they haven't really implemented any policies or anything like that to try and stop it. So I don't know, man. It's just kind of crazy. But uh, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. As I said, I do a lot of different topics, guys. It's not one type of thing I cover on this channel. I do music. I do sports. I just do stuff in the news. Uh, I do something like this, kind of just where I'm reacting to an article that I just read. I do current events. I do all kinds of stuff. And like I said, it's always about hearing what you guys, the people, have to say. So thank you again for watching. Look forward to talking with you in the comments, and I will catch you guys on the next video. It's Jay Coffee Talk signing out. Have a great day, y'all. Peace.